All right, so I think maybe uh, this would be a good point to do um, a review of uncertainty. In particular, how do you calculate the uncertainty when you launch the, you want to find the launch speed of this ball? So let's just pick a simple way, and then I'll show you the process. So, so one way to do this is to take your ball launcher like this, and you shoot it off the table like that. Okay, and then you. Um, measure this distance, I'll just call it X, even though it's probably not the best thing, and by using a piece of carbon paper. And so there's a carbon paper that'll leave a mark where the ball hits the floor, so you know where it is. And you can measure straight down and that distance right there. And then you use a stopwatch. So you use a little, a stopwatch to time it. Okay, so you get two things. You get that and you get delta T. And this is the ball, this is the launch velocity, V0. Uh, and it's only in the X direction. Okay, so since there's no forces in the X direction after it launches, it travels at a constant velocity. So V0 magnitude equals V0x equals delta x over delta t. Okay, so you measure delta x, you measure delta t, and you want to find the V0. So that's not so bad. Now, um, let me just call these, let's just call this... Um, So let's say I measure x, I get x equals, I'm just making up something here, 30.1 plus or minus 0.2 centimeters. Okay. So this is average x and the uncertainty in the x, which we could, we could call it dx or delta x, or I call that delta x, so that's probably not a good idea. But let's just, I'll call it dx right now for the uncertainty in x. Okay. Um, how do you get this and how do you get that? Well, this is one of those cases where the velocity may not even be constant. So it's not even just a measurement problem. So what you would do is you would launch this five times and measure the distance five times to get an average. Okay. And what about the time delta t? Um, I won't call that delta t because it really should be. Uh, so you can use a stopwatch and every time you shoot it you start the stopwatch, you stop the stopwatch and that's it. And let's say I get uh, 0.8 plus, and, and I find the standard deviation to find the uncertainty for that one too, plus or minus uh, 0.3 seconds. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward then. I can calculate V0x. I'm not going to do the numbers, I'll put them in there, but I won't calculate it. It's going to be the average x, 30.1 centimeters, divided by 0.8 seconds, and that's centimeters per second. Done. Okay. Now to calculate the uncertainty, I need to calculate the minimum velocity and then the maximum velocity. So V0, uh, I'll just call it, I'll leave off the X since there's no Y. V0 minimum is going to be X minus DX over delta T plus D delta T. So I have the smallest number on the top and the biggest number on the bottom is going to be using the biggest, uh, minim the smallest launch velocity. So this is going to be 29.9 uh, centimeters so that's 30.1 minus 0.2, and then I have 0.8 plus 0.3, so 1.1. And that's my minimum velocity. For my maximum velocity, I'm going to say x plus dx over delta t minus d delta t. So that's going to be 30.3 centimeters divided by 0.5 seconds. Now to get my uncertainty and my velocity, d, v, zero, the uncertainty, it's just going to be v, zero, max, minus v, zero, min, over two. So this is kind of like averaging how much it is above and below uh, this normal velocity right here. So you put your numbers in and that's it. And that gives me my average velocity with uncertainty, which is super important in this case. Okay. Because what if I found another way to find the average velocity? Um, what if I, instead of measuring the time, I measured this y distance right here, which is what you're going to do. Turns out that you get a much smaller uncertainty in that y, and you should get a better uh, uh, value for the velocity. But I don't know. I mean, this experiment, anything can happen. Okay. So you can do that with any of the different methods that you launch the ball at. Um, remember that you're using, every number has an uncertainty. If you can, this is one where I would get 
I wouldn't remeasure the y height and get them through the, with their standard deviation. What I would do is measure it once and just approximate the uncertainty. Okay. Um, okay. So that should get you started.